Did you know that there is an association between age-related hearing loss and age-related functioning physical decline? Yes, this is true, and I'm going to talk about this in today's video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I'm hard of hearing myself. I have been wearing hearing aids for my moderate to severe hearing loss since I was four months old. Most people think that hearing aids are just for old people. That is not true. Hearing aids are excellent devices for anyone with a mild hearing loss and on. As I mentioned, my hearing loss is moderate to severe. This means that I don't start hearing until the sound of a vacuum cleaner. So a vacuum cleaner, without my hearing aids in, sounds like a whisper to me. Here at Definite Hearing, I talk a lot about hearing loss related studies, problems, solutions, hacks, and things like that, because hearing loss is a large part of my life and I deal with it on a daily basis. Thankfully, my hearing aids help me compensate for my hearing loss and I can hear and speak pretty well. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great content for you. Today, we're going to review a study by Pablo Martinez Amacua, who is an MD, and Danielle Powell. She is an audiologist or a doctor of audiology. They had a lot of other scientists and doctors that helped them with this study, but those are the first two that were listed in this resource. If you wanna see the original source, check the description down below. I'll have the link for this source. So in this study, they wanted to see if physical decline was associated or related to age-related hearing loss. In 2016 and 2017, they enlisted the help of 2,900 plus US adults. There was a good mix of men, women, and different ethnicities. The average age of all these people was about 79, give or take about five years. They used pure tone audiometry, hearing tests, to measure the hearing of all of these people. Of all these adults, 33% of them had normal hearing, 40% had a mild hearing loss, 23% had a moderate hearing loss, and 4% had a severe hearing loss or more. So you notice that a large percentage, 40% had a mild hearing loss. Believe it or not, there's a false notion that mild hearing losses do not need to be fit with hearing devices. This is incorrect. Even a mild hearing loss should be aided with a hearing device and specifically a hearing aid fit by an audiologist. You don't know what you don't hear. So definitely, if you think that you're not hearing well, go talk to your audiologist. They'll measure your hearing and help you get the right hearing device for your hearing loss. So in this study, they wanted to see how physical function and hearing loss were related. They had each adult walk a period of two minutes and do some specific exercises to really gauge their ability to exercise and be physically fit. They noticed that individuals with hearing loss declined physically speaking in their performance of these physical activities compared to those with normal hearing. They noticed in a time trial of walking for two minutes that people with hearing loss loss, moderate and severe especially, walked two to five meters less than those with mild or normal hearing. This is really interesting that the endurance and the physical function was associated with hearing loss. Now, it's really important to say that this study, it says that it's associated. So they notice that people who have hearing loss are more likely to physically decline, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the hearing loss is responsible for that physical decline. So that's an important note, but note that multiple studies have been done on how dementia can worsen if a hearing loss is not assessed. So the fact that this study is coming out and showing evidence that physical stamina and physical function can decline with hearing loss. It just makes sense to treat the hearing loss. You know, like I said earlier, you don't know what you don't hear. But in addition to that, with hearing devices, even aiding a mild loss, you give yourself your best chance to ward off dementia and stay physically fit and have that physical stamina that you need. So people would ask, why is this? Why does hearing matter? Like it's just a part of aging. Well, a lot of people don't realize that hearing stimulates our brain and hearing enables us to be social. Hearing is a sense that happens subconsciously, like our hearts beat and our lungs inhale air. It's just something that's done subconsciously and it keeps our brain actively moving. If we are not able to hear because sounds are too quiet, then the brain does not give that stimulation. Hence the fact that it's more subject to dementia and hence the fact that it can be associated with a physical decline. 
What are your thoughts on this? Do you have hearing loss? Have you noticed that when you don't wear your hearing aids for a time that you feel maybe less active physically and socially? I know for me that when I don't hear my hearing aids, I am very relaxed. <laughs> and sometimes I have to be careful because it's easy to, for me personally to get lazy when I don't have my hearing aids in. It's easy for me to ask my husband questions, but it's not fair for me to expect an answer and expect him to repeat a bunch of times when I don't have my hearing aids in. So therefore, I choose to wear hearing aids and hearing devices. Without my hearing aids at such a young age, I would not be able to speak as well as I do today. Hearing is an incredible sense and it's incredible that we have devices to aid hearing losses nowadays. I love my hearing devices. In fact, that's why I chose the color white. So when I wear my hair up, people can see my hearing aids. They can start a conversation. I can ask questions. I think that sometimes we forget that we're all different, that we all have differences. Hearing aids make it a little bit more obvious that there's a difference, but for me, it gives me something to talk about. And also, I help myself out. It's amazing to be a part of conversations. It's amazing to hear the birds sing. It's amazing to hear the rain on window panes. I love that. And without my hearing aids, I would miss out on all of that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on how hearing loss can be associated with physical decline. I definitely recommend that if you have any questions about your hearing, reach out to a local audiologist and have them help you. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great hearing loss related content for you. Also, if you have hearing loss or if you know someone who has hearing loss and you have questions for me, please let me know. I look forward to answering your questions in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye.